Hi, I'm Mary Ahern, and I'm an artist. I began painting in the mid-1970s, then went on to get a degree in fine arts from Queens College at the City University of New York. Twenty years after I graduated with my fine arts degree, I graduated with a degree in ornamental horticulture from Farmingdale State University. Gardening is the beginning of the workflow of my art. I find that when designing gardens, many of the same compositional elements are considered as when I create a painting. Rhythm, focal points, color, repetition, perspective, they are all part and parcel of the composition of creating in 3D, in gardens, or in 2D, in paintings. This is one of the paintings I created from the gardens I designed surrounding my studio in Northport, New York. I've been working and designing in these gardens since 1989 and happily my work is never done. Each part of my garden is a vignette, like each painting is an individual creation. I've created many landscape paintings over the years and also quite a few gardens. I enjoy designing gardens more than I actually like getting dirty in them. A big change came for me when I was looking under a microscope and it changed entirely my relationship with the flowers. These were for my studies in botany and entomology at Farmingdale and again when I studied botanical illustration at the New York Botanical Gardens. This process helped me to look more closely at what was in my garden. After looking so closely through the microscope, I wanted to blow up the flowers to suggest the amazement I felt when I learned to look at them more closely. I began to move from landscape distant viewing to close-ups for seeing things more clearly in my paintings. These coral roses inspired my next painting. Looking closely at the flowers made me more conscious of the complexity of each one. This led me to spend more time thinking about the purpose for all of this ephemeral beauty. Here is where I'm blending my right and left brains even more. My science brain is intrigued by the mechanisms these plants use to survive, and my artistic brain by the incredible colors, the architecture, and textures they put on display. This is the peony that inspired this painting, Centering, Pink Peony. I had written an article and had a solo flower show, which I named Floral Contemplations, a Duality of Vision. This was to paraphrase the 19th century French writer Stendhal. He said, we have an inner and an outer vision. We can just see a pretty flower here, or we can contemplate a deeper vision or an understanding. These flowers urge me to view them with my internal vision. As an artist, I'm always seeking to convey my thoughts and an interpretation of what I see with my outer eyes and also what I see with my mind's eye. I don't seek a literal interpretation. When I began to see with this duality of vision, the art became much more personal to me. It became richer in meaning, even when the paintings at times became more simplified. My work for me now is a type of meditation before, during, and after the creation of the piece. I read Walter Isaacson's book about da Vinci, and he said that in one of Leonardo's treatises, he discussed his concept of the microcosm, macrocosm ideas of the universe. Da Vinci compared the water in the earth to the blood that is flowing through our bodies. This transposition, I believe, is part of what I'm feeling when I think about the purpose of a flower and the purpose of each of us as human beings. I began to see universal truths in theirs and in our ephemeral existence. It is in the recognition of their singular purpose that helps me to take away the clutter of my own messy life and to concentrate on what truly matters in mine. The study of horticulture opened up an enormous body of inquiry for me. My big, bold, colorful flowers represent to me a call to action. These flowers want what we want. They want food, water, 
a community to assist them, and a climate that will help them to continue to survive beyond their own generation. Each flower painting asks questions beyond the canvas. Looking into all these flowers under a microscope did indeed change my life. It expanded my vision, it expanded both my outward and my inward visions, and I am the richer for it. Plus, I get to awaken that wonder around me and share it with the universe. My painting isn't complete, though, without you contributing yourself to its existence, and I thank you for that.